Hi, in this video, we're going to describe the process, what's going to look like when you log on to office.com. And this is going to enable your MFA as part of your security enhancement. You click on next, you prompt it for the username and password. Okay. Now here, as you notice, it says require like more information is required. Your organization need information to keep your account secure. Okay. Now you click on next. It's going to bring you up to a couple information that it's going to require. First, as you can see, it wants you to set up your Microsoft Authenticator app. If you have not installed the Authenticator app, you can download it from the Apple Store or you have an Android. Go to Google Play and install that, please. Click on Next. It's going to now you can use open up your Authenticator, uh, Microsoft Authenticator, scan this QR code and then it's going to give you a six digit number. Click next. Now I'm going to put in the sign in number 44 on my phone and click on next. And now we're done and click on done. Okay. This is part one. Uh, okay. When you first log in, you see it's requesting. So make sure you put 51 in this case on your phone because it's going to use a new method called matching number. Say so yes, stay logged in. So click on the your account on the upper right corner and you're going to say view account. Okay, under the um, security information here is where you want to make sure you have a backup in case your phone is not working. You want to enter your, your um, maybe your phone number here, your mobile number, and, and just for a backup plan. As you can see, you can add a secondary method and select phone, click add, put your phone number in here. So you can ask it to receive a code or you can ask it to call you. So here's the difference. If you cannot receive text, you want to have it call you. Let's say you have a home phone or you have a office phone and you can't receive text on there, you probably want it to call you. Okay, go ahead, click next. And I'm going to get a text here on my mobile. Okay, done. Now, if you want to have another way to log in, you can also add a third method. In this case, let's say you want to have an office phone. This, this is useful. Or let's say you have a secondary mobile device, let's say an iPad. You can also add an authenticator app on there as well. That concludes our you know, demo of how we would set up a Microsoft authenticator app for your Office 365 account.